the timer, of course. Go ahead. Ready. So the team can go ahead and get lined up again, and uh, and then uh, when you start, I'll start the recording. Thanks. My name it's is re it's recording. Go ahead. My name is Elizabeth Mayshack. My name is Riley Halper. And this is the BQFS project. You can see our project goals here. The goal of the project was to create a simpler and more efficient way to fill weather balloons while trying to launch them on field. The old inflation process implemented in this project was not very efficient. Our project intended to improve efficiency. Our project took inspiration from other plants in order to derive a prototype. So this is our clamp right here. We designed to make it easily applicable and removable from the stand nozzle right here. We designed it so that way we can get this done a lot faster and a lot more efficient. We had a development stage for this plant process. In the beginning, we started with experimentations on different materials that are similar to the clamp we want. We found that we need a proper seal for the inconsistencies in the rubber balloon. This led us to develop this, and then later on, a final product that we use in Odessa, Texas. Test our clamp. We uh, implemented practice launches before using it during the eclipse event in Odessa, Texas on October 14th. Our project testing concluded that a rubber clamp inlay fitted inside of the clamp was the only viable option for sailing off helium gas. Now, in further development, we had to consider initially that a clamp would not just solve one problem for efficiency. We needed to be able to ground our balloon to give it stability and a mechanism that would automatically inform us when it's ready for launch, which we successfully did so. Okay. Here we have images of the counterweight mechanism, which indicates the appropriate helium weights. That way, we, every balloon we launch will have a consistent uh, ascent rate. Um, after completing our testing trials for our products, um, uh, we are very pleased with the project's results. Um, it performs exceptionally well, reducing the uh, fill time from 20 minutes to just two minutes, requiring fewer people to fill the balloons, and overall um, making the process much more efficient. The BQFS project would like to give our thanks to the people who supported us throughout this project. We would like to give our thanks to Aaron Bashan, who was our NEBP team advisor for our school, and also Ron Markham, who was our instructor for this project. Okay, well, thank you very much. BQ, BQFS team did a great job. Um, and uh, James, I guess you can stop the recording.